Have you noticed how the pace of change in our world seems to be getting faster? That's because it is. Innovations like smartphones, the Internet of Things and artificial intelligence impact all of us. And as a result, our lives today are very different to how we lived just a few years ago. Change, it seems, breeds ever faster change. And that's why I believe that having a future-ready mindset is now a must-have skill in business and life. We need new techniques so we can keep up and embrace better ways of thinking and working. And we need to stay excited by new possibilities so we're always on the lookout for better ways to live our lives. We need a future-ready mindset. So join me as we take a whistle-stop tour of five steps to success that will help you to navigate towards a happy future. These simple activities can help us open our minds to new possibilities and will make change a fun, lifelong habit for you and your colleagues. We all have a gap between what we know today and what we may need to know tomorrow. And thankfully, we can bridge that gap with curiosity by showing more interest in the unknown and by exploring how it might help us in the future. And that's why my first step towards a future-ready mindset is follow. It's where we decide what to follow and how we can learn more about it. So what's that thing, that thing you really don't know enough about? It could be a technology development like the metaverse or a different approach to sales and marketing or a more sustainable way of doing business. What is your thing? What will you follow? Here's my thing. It's just an empty box, but I couldn't think of a better way of explaining this bit. This is the thing I'm going to follow and find out if it's really relevant to my future. It's time to get to know our thing. Step two is react. And it's like taking our thing on a first date. We want to get to know it better and choose our reaction with care. Now, falling in love at first sight with your thing could be dangerous, but so might instantly deciding it's not right for you. The react step is all about exploring, learning and deciding. It's about immersing yourself into understanding your thing, looking at it from lots of angles, maybe even having a few more hot dates. And if, after a few dates together, you feel that your thing is not for you, that's fine. It's not you, it's me. If that's how you feel, simply head back to step one and find another thing to follow. But if you can't imagine a future without this thing in your life, I really, really like you. It's time to move on to step three. We've arrived at step three, where we embrace our inner child and ask some really fun questions. It's time for an open mind. Do you remember how simple life was when we were younger? The world looked so much simpler. Everything seemed possible back then, and that's actually a great way to approach the future. It's time for an open mind to consider your thing without the burden of a lifetime of experience. So surrender your preconceptions, forget everything you know, Imagine it's your first day in the job. Where are the toilets? What time is lunch? Oh, and why does my boss make so much noise when she's eating crisps? With your mind free to ask any question, even the silly or uncomfortable ones, you'll not only ask better questions of your thing, you'll also get more enlightening answers. An open mind gives us permission to discover everything about our thing and how it can help us in the future. By now, we're getting to know our thing pretty well, so why not think about it completely differently? Step four is surprise, and it's when we get to consider the exciting and unexpected ways our thing might help us in the future. Surprise is about allowing our minds to go on flights of fancy, to exercise our creative muscles, and to revel in a sense of wonder in all that could be possible. One super easy way to do this is to ask what if questions. What if my thing was built into a car? What, what if it could help a blind person? What if we used it in space? What if I talked into this camera? Oh, no, nothing. Asking the unexpected questions helps us discover fresh, surprising possibilities for our future and leap ahead of our competitors. So by now, you should be buzzing with intriguing ideas. Let's move to our final step. The fifth and final step 
to success in our world of change is tell. Up until now, everything we've done is largely a solo activity. But the more of our colleagues who can go through this process, the better. The more things we explore, the more brilliant ideas we may have. But the tell step is where we bring everyone together back in the office, where we meet as a team to share our discoveries, our ideas, and our dreams for the future. And importantly, in this final stage, we shift from thinking to doing. With a bias for action, we get to decide together which things may prove most important to our collective future. We agree how they should be explored further and how we will test our ideas with customers and colleagues. Tell is where we unite everyone around a common goal for change and then take smart, timely action to make our ideas a reality. So that's it. Five steps to success in a world of change. Follow, react, open mind, surprise, and tell. Five simple steps that will make keeping up with today's fast pace of change a little easier. And, and this is important, you don't go through these five steps just once. This is a lifelong process, a new habit of curiosity, exploration, imagination, creativity, and positive action. And if you'd like to cultivate a future-ready mindset in your organization so you can stay ahead of your competitors, get in touch. There's a brilliant future, though exciting possibilities ahead. See you soon.